recently mm -hmm. opened there as well. Yeah, uh, the Dr. Bill Roston Native Butterfly House has just opened for the season, and it Very will be cool. open. Yeah, it'll be open Saturday during Young Sprouts as well. Okay. Um, it's the only Native Butterfly House in the state of Missouri. Okay. And you can um, go there and see all of the four stages of the butterfly's life cycle. And, and uh, I brought. We, we we have that here now. Yes, I brought examples of okay. that. Okay. Um, so what are we looking at here? Well, I know it's really hard to see, but um, this is actually a tiger swallowtail, and this is its egg, and it's wow, that's tiny. very, very small. Okay, so that's the beginning of the life cycle. Yes. Then what, is it, what happens after well, that? Well, that will hatch and become a caterpillar, and I had a caterpillar, but I think it escaped in my car. So. <laughs> <laughs> caterpillar on the loose. So then the caterpillar will eat and grow and form a chrysalis. And okay. these are some some samples of a chrysalis, and then this is a moth cocoon. But anyway, okay. as far as the chrysalis, this one actually just hatched about an hour ago. I was and I give you props; you were trying to time it well. Trying to time it to where it would do it on TV, but, but can it we didn't. take a look at that real quick? Sure. And also, just uh, and this is uh, the tiger so swallowtail. The tiger swallowtail. Yeah. So that's the end result, huh? That's the end result. After it emerges from the cocoon, it'll crawl up and um, find a protected area, mm -hmm. and its wings will dry out, and then it'll fly away. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Kelly. I appreciate it. And that's sure. coming up this Saturday. Yes. You get to check out both things. Mm -hmm. And here's the latest recipe from Mr. Food.